Good example of a word problem in algebra where you deal with rates of performing work. In this case, we have three people doing the work. We have Jim, who can dig a hole by himself in 12 hours. John can do it in eight hours. And Jack can do it in six. How long will it take if they all work together? And just like it, you would work if there's only two people doing the work, um, you say rate of the first person times the total time that it takes to do the job plus the rate of the second person times the total time that it takes to do the job plus the rate of the third person times the total time it takes to do the job adds up to doing the whole job. And that's what the one represents. And again, the rate is the reciprocal of how long it takes to do the whole thing by yourself. So if Jim can dig a hole by himself in 12 hours, then the rate at which he does work is 1 12th of the whole job every hour. So 1 12th is the rate at which Jim can do work. Second person is John. He can do the whole job in 8 hours. So his rate of work is 1 8th of the whole job done every hour. So 1 8th of the job done every hour times the total time. And for Jack, he can do the whole job in six hours. So the rate that he works at is one sixth of the job done every hour times the total amount of time that it takes to do a whole job. And that equals one. Now we can go ahead and solve the problem. We need to find the lowest common denominator for the numbers 12, eight, and six. Well, if there's three numbers like that, the first thing I like to do is look at the biggest of the two numbers and see if the other two fit into it. And the answer is no. So then what if I double the big number? That's 24. Does 8 go into 24? Yes, the answer is yes. And 6 also goes into 24. So 24 becomes my lowest common denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 24. And of course, I do that to get rid of the fractions. You don't want any fractions in your equation. All right. Now, since 12 goes into 24 exactly two times, then I get 2 times t, which gives me 2t plus. 8 goes into 24 exactly 3 times, so I multiply 3 times t, I get 3t. And 6 goes into 24 exactly 4 times, so I get 4 times t. So t equals 24 times 1, 24. Okay, now I go ahead and combine all, all like terms. So I have 2 plus 3 is 5, plus 4 is 9, so 9t equals 24. And then you divide both sides of the equation by the Numerical coefficient in front of the variable, that's 9. Nines cancel out. t equals 24 divided by 9. See, 9 goes in 24 two times. That leaves me 2 times 18. So that's equal to 2 and 6 ninths. And 6 ninths, of course, 2 thirds. That's equal to 2 and 2 thirds. So it takes 2 and 2 thirds hours for all three of them to dig that hole together. That's how you do that.